Hey Weekly Walk viewers, I'm here with Chris O'Donnell who is SVP of product at HubSpot. We were just we were just going over who do we think looks better. Def, I, I don't know. I'm going to give it to you. You look pretty sharp in that. We don't see a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of sports cars I am, here. I'm having a better hair day. You definitely think, are having yeah, a better hair yeah, day. All right, yeah. so. All right, so we should walk. We're going to walk because right. it's a weekly walk and okay. it would defeat the purpose if we didn't. Um, all right, so you, let's start at, let's start at the beginning. You majored in music uh -huh. in college. Like yeah. how, how did you get here? Yeah, <laughs> it was a waste of money. Okay. Because uh, you, yeah, you went to a good school too. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was they, they actually apologized to graduation for the waste of money that it was. Okay. Which was, which was awkward, but I didn't find it to be a waste. I think, I think making software is really similar to making music. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to work with a bunch of people who are more talented than you and, yeah. and, you know, try to get creative people to align around a vision and, you know, make something that nobody can really kind of express to you until they see it. Yeah, that's you true. You know, or until they hear it and, uh, and iterate on things and sort of be patient and, I learned a lot with okay. music, yeah. Okay, awesome. That's how you justify the money spent. That's how I justify it. Okay, great. No, it sounds really good. All right, so you spoke at our PLG East event. As you guys may or may not know, we, we love product-led growth here at OpenView. I know big, awesome sur event. big surprise. Thank you, thank you. And you were, you were our first speaker. So what did you talk about for those who unfortunately couldn't be here? Yeah, well, just trying to frame it for the day where we're going to hear from so many really amazing, talented people. And, you know, first of all, product-led growth is so new. There's no silver bullet, you know? Yeah. And so how do you try to find what applies to your business mm -hmm. and, uh, and take that and sort of leave the stuff that doesn't apply? Yeah. So we have this idea at, at HubSpot of rivers and pools. And yes. it's kind of two different types of freemium businesses. Yep. And uh, we kind of dove into that and used some examples and um, had some fun with it. Okay, awesome. Yes, we're also walking in a circle, if you guys can't tell. We will trip and fall. We're, Rob, we're gonna, yeah, this, this might be the first trip we have. There so. are a lot of hazards. A lot of hazards <laughs> here. It's a miracle we've made it this far. I know, we got we got a couple yeah. more laps to do before I, before I let you go. Okay, so I guess also too, what do you do at HubSpot? We completely skipped over that. Like, uh, you're, you know, you've got a cool yeah. title, but. Yeah, what does that no. Entail? So, so I, I run the the product management and, and UX design teams. Okay. About 120 of us. Okay. Um, you know, frontline PMs, product groups. Yep. Uh, user research, product analytics, all that, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then, what? One of the things you talked about in your presentation was there's so much advice out there, and you were just saying that, and there's some good advice and not yeah. good advice, and which advice do you know how to follow? So, what advice do you think is good, and what advice should people follow from? from your words, or your lips to their ears. Ultimately, you are gonna to have to try a handful of things and figure out which direction kind of works from you, works for you. For me, I try to find the people mm -hmm. whose advice is very applicable to what we're doing and our customer and try to take as much of their advice. So, you know, for me, it's kind of a person by person thing where mm -hmm. some people really kind of relate, like Jay Simons at Atlassian, who's on our board, like his advice is just awesome you know and he's a marketer and a product guy and growth person and so he sort of gets it he knows our product really well and so we can learn a lot from him but uh that's that's my advice is like build these relationships you know Farid at Slack is another great person where mm -hmm. you know just the way he thinks about stuff is, is really I think a sort of a step ahead of, to where I want to be and you know so I just try to hang out with people cooler than me Okay, noted. Yeah, like so that's the big takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm honored that you think I'm cooler than you might be true, but I don't know. I think you're pretty cool too. Probably All right, and true. check out, obviously check out our content. We'll have sort of a full recap on PLG East and we hope to see you at our next event. Thanks, Chris. Bye guys. See you guys.